So back in July last year, Ben, myself and two others decided to road trip around the South Island of New Zealand. This is the story of what happened during our three weeks there. The federal government says today's start of quarantine-free travel to New Zealand is the first step in the process to more broadly reopen Australia's international borders. Thousands of travellers are preparing to fly across the ditch this morning as New Zealand allows visitors from Australia in without them having to spend 14 days in isolation. There's literally no one here, which means no lines. So security was easy, immigration was easy. So we got straight through. Yeah, now we're boarding. Right, so we're on our way to our accommodation. We're catching the Uber right now and we're gonna see Cam and Lana for the first time in about two years since the last time we came here to New Zealand. Staying in contact with them all this time and we're finally getting to go on an awesome road trip with each other. But I also want to like enjoy the moment of just like hugging you guys and saying hey. Oh my god, good to see you. You too, bro. You're taller than I remember. Oh, so good. We're tired, but like, I was gonna say, you guys have gone out yeah. so early. Okay, so <laughs> who are these two people? Cam and Lana are two of the greatest Kiwis you'll ever meet. Not only are they super down to earth, genuine people, but they're also amazing photographers and filmmakers. Not to mention they are both legit athletes and the kind of people that, honestly, they really make you want to uninstall Strava. Anyway, I should probably tell you all how we first met. So back in 2019, Ben and I were invited to participate in Land Rover's Above and Beyond tour in New Zealand. Here we met Lana and Cam, and during a week of insane activities, we became really close friends. Back to Queenstown, where it was starting to look like we were not going to start our road trip anytime soon. The car is on a freight ship in Christchurch Harbour. It's on a boat. Yeah, it's on a boat, which is like... Uh, four hours drive from here. Yeah. So the car's gonna be delivered off the boat into Christchurch Harbour oh, it's either this memory. evening no, or tomorrow out. morning. Okay, to give you some context, we were in Queenstown and the car that we were supposed to be picking up was five hours and 43 minute drive away in Christchurch Harbour. This is what road trips are about. Yeah. This is what, yeah. yeah. Trip yeah. Adventures. yeah. Okay. That's all right, um, unfortunate circumstances, but we'll make do because yeah. we're the super chillest people in. <laughs> We're Queenstown, <laughs> what did we call figuratively ourselves? and the literally. Awesome. We're the awesome foursome. <laughs> the awesome foursome. Yeah. I'm not going to use that name. All right, so we've just spent one night in Queenstown. Today we're picking up our first car after having a bunch of problems with the car we we're supposed to get. We we're supposed to get a car from Land Rover, but it's still on a ship out in the harbour. So we've got a replacement car, which is this one. And we've got to fit all our gear in the back of this. So you've seen all Ben's Pelican cases and stuff. That is not actually our car. This was our car. We got it. We got a car. Let's go. Cam managed to sort us out this morning and go get a replacement car. And uh, we're heading up to Mount Cook, which is about a three hour drive. Plan is to take our time up there because on the way, it's such a scenic route. We've got skateboard, we've got drones, we've got everything. So we're going to just take our time to get up there. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Yep. It's going to be sick. Woo! So the goal was to make it to a place called the Hermitage Hotel, which we would use Stop as a that. base for three nights while we explored Aoraki National Park. Stop that. Stop that. I love it, this is so good. <laughs> These items are going to make way more sense in the next video. Fly your drone, guys, because it's so worth it. Come back and tell us how it was. Yeah. Yeah. We actually, we, we actually probably sure. could. <laughs> this is a problem. I reckon we put our camera bags on our laps, and then when we get out, we just have to like put them down. Yeah, that's a good idea. Seat, and then we could put the food in between here. Yeah. on the side of the road here because as you can see it's incredible it's just insanely snowed up mountains snow everywhere this is the first time I've touched snow on the trip and it's cold <laughs> oh 
Oh, hey, you finally got Artlist. Yeah, I did. How are you liking it so far? Yeah, it's awesome. They have so many songs to choose from. I didn't realize they had that many. Yeah, it's so sick. Oh, they also have like a ton of sound effects as well. I've been using them a lot for my videos lately. Yeah, I noticed that, which is a game changer. And they're yeah. all super high quality. That's insane. Oh, the best thing is too, if you use their music and sound effects, you can monetize YouTube videos. That's because it's all royalty free, right? Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Hey, do you have a sign up link for that as well? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm going to put it in the description of this video. So people that sign up with it get two months free. Two months free? Yeah. Wow, that's a long time. You boys ready to get it? Yeah. Hit the road? Yeah, we should probably go. I did driving. Oh, oh, yeah. Of course. Okay. I'm on this side of the car, so I'll go that way. Alright, so we've just arrived at Auraki, uh, Mount Cook village, Mount Cook National Park. Uh, and right now we're going to quickly go check in. Welcome to the Hermitage <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> He's the main man. I'm the main man. Yeah. <laughs> Seven so overnight. Woo! This place is called the Hermitage Hotel. It's this beautiful, beautiful hotel. We have got here, as you can tell, at night. But in the morning, this is going to be one of the most beautiful views you've ever seen. And I am super, super excited to wake up tomorrow morning and see it. So, check out this view that we've got here. So right in the background there is Mount Cook or Aoraki. And yeah, this is where I slept last night. Today is another early morning and we're up here for sunrise and we're going to be doing the Hood Cavalli hike which is about five kilometers. Behind me right now is this beautiful mountain range. Oh and fun fact for you Lord of the Rings fans, just down here is where they filmed Lord of the Rings Two Towers for like months on end. Um, Helms Deep. Down here? Yeah. yeah, I might have to go shoot some Urukai boys. There you go. <laughs> yeah, and right now it's uh, minus seven degrees. Cold fingers. Cold, cold fingers bro. <laughs> Slipping. Like this. I got this. Hey kids, don't do this at home. I'm a trained professional. That's why I wear skate shoes. It's like skate. If you don't skate, don't do this. No skate, no do. Privacy, please. Go. So. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, so that's Ben TK. Wow, <laughs> 605 subscribers. And then, um, subscribe. Yes. Because yes. <laughs> we want to see the, the professionals. Yes, yes. Once was a uh, puddle, now it's a frozen ice block. Wow. Cool, eh? Wait, break it? The craziest thing when you break it, it sounds like glass. If you like do a little shadow against the um, rock, oh, you see? Sounds That's like glass, cool. Eh? It's like that fake glass stuff you use in movies. Yeah. You smash yeah. it. Yeah, watch that, so watch cool. Ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it in my head. Cool <laughs> so you always want to shoot raw because when you shoot JPEG, you just lose so much. What the heck, bro? Are you talking about, girl, man? Find your own fiance. She doesn't even like After Effects, dude. <laughs> Shut you right, that's smashed, dude. You alright? You alright? That did not shut it right. That's the other side of the Oh, bro, you alright? That was awesome. Oh. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Alright, so we're, we're about. We're almost at the end of the hike, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're close. We're super close to the end of the hike now, and the whole path's kind of turning into ice. I'm an idiot because I wore skater oh, shoes, and they just started started. absolutely slipping everywhere in it. It's almost 1.30, and we started at 7.30. <laughs> we haven't even been to the end yet. Worth it, uh, bro. It's a 5k hike, right? <laughs>
right, so we've just finished up on our five kilometer hike, which took us about five hours. Um, four hours more than what it should usually take. We're sitting here for about an hour or so and watching the sun kind of dip behind this mountain behind me. So, so, so incredibly beautiful. I haven't seen like scenes like this for a long time. I don't think I've ever actually been to a place that looks like this. It's just amazing. It's spectacular. It's freezing. It's so cold. So as soon as the sun dipped, so the temperature, so it's probably like minus four again. So we've got gloves back on. But yeah, we're done here now. We've overspent our time. It's starting to get cold and we didn't eat lunch because we've been here for so long. So we're gonna head back, back to the hotel now. Yeah. So underneath Mount Cook, there's this massive glacier. I think it's my first time ever seeing a glacier. So it's really, really cool. That's all, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Not only are we navigating through all this thick snow, but we're trying to dodge rocks coming down. Holy f It's probably one of the hardest hikes I've ever done. Ben just cut his hand, you right? That's right. That's really fun. Yeah, work it. Work it, Jamie. Yes, 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 That's it. Yes, yes, yes. Because the only way to stay warm in this weather is to keep on partying. It doesn't matter where your hands go, it's gonna, <laughs> gonna keep you warm, you know? <coughs> I've cracked. <laughs> I embody this character and he's mine now. <laughs>